Oh shit, look at that. That's, that's, that's like, So this is cool. I could show this like as a real Wait, here's Anderson. one more. This oh, is yeah. from Hamilton. So I, I follow somebody on Instagram that makes beautiful wooden type. There's probably a lot of them. I can't remember what the hell the name of the place is. Somebody showed them to me. Yeah, that's really pretty. Against that old wood too, looks sexy as hell. I need a so, position. So over your voiceover, I'm just gonna put all these imagery stuff. So that's what I like to do. Right on, right on. Okay, look back. You have all the, that's pretty wild that you, you made each section of the. We told them to go ahead and take anything they wanted for their help. Because mm -hmm. we can print these. Whenever. You know, another three hours, we got another block. Too bad it's a freaking eight hour, ten hour drive to get here. Otherwise, we'd be like, sure, we'll come back and help out. That'd be great. Dude, I love driving. I'll come back whenever you want me to. Which, uh, I think I just turned off. Oh no, it's rolling. Is it rolling? Cool. Yeah. Welcome to my dungeon. <laughs> so here we have it. Uh, 1863 Gordon Press that I rescued. You know when people say they rescue a dog and they really just like take possession of a dog? I believe I actually rescued this press because it was slated for a dumpster. So I was told. I got it from a woman who was cleaning out her dad's house and the house had been sitting empty for, well, un unlived in for 25, 30 years. And this was one of the things they had to get out and throw in the garbage because the owners actually, the new owners bought the house. So like closing was like in two days from the moment I, I first saw this. Mm -hmm. 10 o'clock at night, I had to make a fast decision. Me and my dad dismantled the whole thing. I took it up the stairwell in pieces and threw it in my truck and I brought it here. And just to keep it out of the rain, I put it together right away inside of here. The only damage on the whole thing during the move was this broke off. This piece of wood, which I just haven't brought glue back here to put it back in place. But foot pedal, it runs perfectly smooth. Any little surface rust is just from condensation that occurred sitting in here. But look at how smooth it goes. Take my foot off. The Chandler and Price doesn't root nearly as smooth as this, but the Chandler was frozen for 25, 30 years. So that has, a, that has a good excuse for being kind of sticky. But this thing is it's just so beautiful the way it moves. And when you think about the age of this thing, this could have easily printed propaganda for the Civil War. Mm -hmm. Like this could have been pro, well it was in the North, so it probably had pro-Union stuff printed on it. Right. But when you think of like, imagine in 100 years from now finding an Epson printer. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't know what to do. You wouldn't even have like the slightest bit to do with it. Like what in the world would you do with it? In five years from now, if you found an Epson printer, it's gonna be worthless. Like completely worthless. Mm -hmm. The only thing you could do is like recycle the plastic. So hey, you run it for a minute. Okay, you want me to use the pedal? Yeah. Okie dokie. This, this is just over fodder when, when you guys are gonna be talking. And it's just uh... Just give it a throw forward or backwards. Or forward's better. I'll get out of the way in a second. No, no, you're not in the way. It, yeah, it takes a minute to get it rolling, but once you got the rhythm Okay, down, yeah, I'm seeing it. That's cool. It feels nice and like, it's got some smooth movement to it too. Yeah, it's got a nice balance to it. And the good thing, I mean, you could just like whip up on your CNC or your 3D printer. Mm -hmm. Like you got a small enough plate on this machine to like print the whole thing. Just print the whole thing. Yeah. Do you set up and print it? Yeah, that's cool. Here you go. And then what if, if I'm getting a light spot, I just mm -hmm. throw a piece of newspaper in there underneath the, uh, yeah. yep. and then I lock it down and then I get the good impression right, right there. Just a little, so, a little padding. Like the pad, like, you know, 100,000, 200,000, either a sliver of newspaper or a piece of white printing paper. That's all it takes, yeah. yeah. That's and, actually really good that that's calibered that well, that it's set that well. Yes. And this is a crazy cool old machine. I gotta get, it, it works, believe it or not, I have all the parts. Now that I have the shop, I gotta make a table dedicated to the coffin. Nice. I, I bought, I like old coffins. <laughs> I got three old, in the shop where we just were, yeah. I have a vintage wicker coffin, which is typically used as a body bag. 
It's handled oh. on the extreme short end so you can get people out of a farmhouse, like walking down the stairs and stuff. Mm. Oh my god. So it's all starting to come together now. So I'm like, okay, 3D professor, he loves making shit. <laughs> I love yeah. old machines too. So, yeah.